just had this terrible dream. I took off from Bryston and I, I landed Oakham Valley and Richard and Will and Paul Street it flew right over my head and flew to the mainland. Ah, oh, what time is it? It's only four o'clock in the morning. I need to go flying today. Let's get my Vario set up. Right, so I'm walking up the hill after that dream. Just, ah, uh, oh. I hate dreams when you just, you wake up and you, you're in a cold sweat like that. I'm just walking up Bryston. It's very, very uh, cloudy today. Well, it's November, you see, but there is some wind and I'm desperate, so <laughs> no thermals, but hopefully we'll get a saw. I'll see you at launch. I'm on my little Western takeoff here. The wind is very light and it feels damp. It feels like it's going to rain. It really is pretty, uh, pretty rubbish. But there's a buzzard soaring and he was thermaling. I don't know if you can just see him just in front of the takeoff there. There's a very light wind and um, someone is struggling over there, probably Marcin on his advance. Um, Alpha, or I can't remember what wing he's got. He's got the same colours as me. But there's a buzzard just there and he's kind of thermaling in a weak, weak th thermal and uh, Martin's kind of going down but you know I think come this time of the year you've just got to try and grab every little slot of flying you can get it doesn't feel too good it kind of feels like it's going to rain so I feel a bit crazy actually a little bit mad. I don't really want to get my wings soaking wet, but let's give it a go. I'm just waiting now for the glider, like I said before in a previous video, to sort of want to pull me off the hill. And at the moment it's hanging back. This is not a good time. But there is a buzzard in front of me. He's doing thermal turns, so that's a good sign. I don't want to go too soon. But I can see him thermaling, so I think I'm going to go for that. It just doesn't feel like it's any wind yet. It's not going to be a strong thermal because there's almost no wind. I'm struggling just to keep the canopy over my head at the moment. There's another bird in the same thermal. It's got to be something there. But, oh, it doesn't feel good. I think I'm just going to go for it. Oh dear. Feels like the wind's dropped even more. The reason I'm walking around is I keep walking underneath the wing. Okay, there's a bit of wind. Let's go. Try not to catch the camera on the... <laughs> That's not an ideal takeoff because I was worried about the camera. Oh dear. Of course, I've got no varia. We're flying into where I thought they the birds were getting left there, something. There was a thermal. Oh, I'm going down. Oh dear, that wasn't very good. I thought there was something there. But, ah, there it is. It's gone slack. There is something there. It's very weak. Oh, I'm falling out of it. Oh dear. Ooh. That wasn't very good. It just felt like I 
Oh, oh dear, this has gone out of it again. Woo! I'm just flooring out of that, letting the glider fly, keeping my letting you know, keeping my hands high enough for the wing to fly. There's birds over there, but I don't want to fly away from the ridge, so I'm gonna just opt to flying down towards the end. There we go. There we go, back down to the end. Where everyone else takes off. Does feel a bit funny. Like, um, there is lift there, but it feels like a bit, I don't know, not a bumpy, but not that bumpy. Woohoo! There's something. This is why sometimes when you're flying without a Vario, I have to keep reminding myself that I haven't got a Vario, you know, because you can easily forget and we're waiting for the Vario to tell you. But actually, it's not because there's nothing there. But I really enjoy flying without the Vario sometimes to get that sensitivity back and get used to it. There's a couple of pilots down there. There's the lift. Turning, slowing down in the lift. Let's try flying forward a bit. Woo! Lovely. I didn't expect there to be any thermals. I've gone through it. I'm trying to turn hard back. Back into the thermal. Kind of lost that one a bit there. So what I'll do is I'll head back over to where I came from. It really looks like it's going to rain, so I don't think I'll be up here that long. Nice to fly without the Vario sometimes. Getting a bit low, so I'm gonna make a turn here. Woo! Uh oh, now I'm low. Oh dear. Now, when you get this low, you've got to really be careful to keep a bit of a margin. Because what you don't want to do is end up going into the bushes. There's Jim. So I'm thinking about him and giving him a bit of space. But what you don't want to do is be so low against the ridge and you get dumped by a bit of sink and then you're, you're actually in the, in the bushes then. So that's where you've really got to be careful. Always give yourself a bit of a margin. I was hoping to get a bit of a lifty turn, but not much. 
much, but there's a bit of lift there on the turn. So there we go. Keeping the speed up. Remember to let the wing fly. Don't choke the wing. What you don't want to do is choke the wing by slowing it down too much because you're getting low. So then you start thinking, oh, I'm going to slow down. But it's actually the worst thing you can do. You've, you've got to embrace the ground rush. Same with the swoop flare, you know, embrace that ground, ground rush because it's there for your safety. Obviously, you've got to, you know, be careful not to go too fast, too low, but um, that speed is your friend. The speed is there to, to give you the maneuverability that you need. There's a bit of a bump there, but it's not really lifty. But Jim seems to be, well, I thought he was in lift. Maybe he isn't. He is sort of in lift, so I might just go over to where he is. As you can see, I'm getting quite low now. So, I could think about landing on the ridge, but there's a lot of uh, thistles down there. Some really nasty uh, bramble bushes. Ugh, well, I never felt his thermal. So, the temptation would be to fly out to him but I never felt his thermal, so I'm going to just carry on. Ooh, maybe not. But I don't want to turn until I feel some lift. There's Paddy. <laughs> Hello. Oh no, now I'm really low. Well, sometimes it's a challenge to, to get up. So here we are, quite low, so I don't want to get too low and fly into one of these bushes. So I'm giving myself some margin. I can see a bird ahead of me, but the wind is off the hill, so I have to be careful of turbulence as well. So I'm giving a bit of break here. I've got a tiny bit of break on. I'm flying towards that bird, hoping, there we go, look, tiny bit of lift where the bird is. It's a court, uh, kestrel. Let's turn towards the kestrel. And I'm underneath him, but there's not really much. So, kind of force, there he is. I don't know if you can see him. Flying back, downwind. Ooh. And it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel that good. So probably what I should have done is stayed at that end where it's into wind. Oh, there we go. See what I mean? If I had been too low, I would have been in the bushes there. Ah, there's a bit of lift, but Jim's also turning in something, so it makes sense to fly to where he is, maybe turn here, but I didn't feel anything, so I'm not going to turn. I'm not going to do that because I, I'd rather get back to this bit that sticks out towards the wind. There's Marcin. I think that's an advanced alpha. Lovely colours, same as mine, I think. Not very similar. Hello, Marcin! Hello! <laughs> Lovely colours! <laughs> He's got the, good for him for getting an advance. I think advance, in my opinion, are the best. You can't really compare. So, nice early weight shift. Weight shift nice and early. And I've got a bit more height again, but I'm not tremendously high. Jim's actually even lower now, so it looks like staying over there hasn't really benefited him. Now, in theory, I should have gone round to the right-hand side, but to be honest, um, it's obvious that we can just continue on that line. We mustn't be too worried about, you know, the rules and, oh, I must go that side, because if it's obvious that someone is going to go to the other side of the rules, you just, you know, you just go with it. If it's obvious, they're making their intentions clear. Oh, I can feel rain now. So I think I'm going to head down. <laughs> it's raining. I knew it would because I could, I could see it coming. So I'm going to head down to the landing field. You land down the bottom for the fun of it and track, practice a spot landing. So actually, I could see some birds 
thermaling over there. So I might just have a look over there before I go down. There's another one up here. Birds are, to me, the most useful thing for thermal information. It's, I mean, even when there's no sunshine... <laughs> what are we doing, Jim? Even when there's no sun, they can still tell you there's lift around. There's definitely a thermal over there. So if I don't get anything here, I'm going to go over to there. Not really anything here. Seagulls thermaling over there. I'm surprised Jim didn't go over. It's so useful to have birds telling you where the lift is. Okay, there they're flying forwards now. That's not good. So, okay. That's a shame, I didn't get into it quick enough. Ah, actually, there's something. And there's a bird over there, and he's flapping. There is something here. Not really, oh, shame, not really. Well, time to go down for my spot landing. It is raining, it's kind of like drizzly. So I'm going to head down. I'm going to plan to land in the corner of this big field where I know there's a track that takes me out a nice safe option so what I don't want to do is land right in the corner because obviously I can run out and run out of field and hit the fence so I'm losing height I'm flying out over this farm no rush enjoy the views I used to rent a washing machine to this farm so if it's the same people I'm sure they won't mind Sink there, lost enough height, so now we'll make our downwind leg. Get out of the harness, get, get one foot out of the harness, ready. Get my feet out. Loads of landing options, I mean, landing space here. So Hands up, speed, and flare, nice touchdown. All right, so I'm just walking back up to Jubilee Car Park, and uh, Paddy and Jim and Martin are just managing to fly on the end. I don't know if you can see, they're still flying on the end there. So the rain actually passed, which is, which is good. Uh, it sort of rained and then, um, just very light rain and then it, it stopped so they're carrying on but I I decided to land not just because of the rain but also I've got to do a school run today so I haven't got a lot of time but I'm just happy I had a little fly and I did a little video I do hope that some of those things um, I was talking about will be helpful to you obviously it's more suited to beginner pilots but um, it's one of the reasons I'm doing these videos isn't just for the fun but it's actually I'm trying to to do it as an instructional kind of video as well for people there's a couple of buzzards thermaling you probably can't see them but they're thermaling just up there it's just amazing you know what amazes me is even on days like this when there's very light winds and and absolutely no sun no sunshine at all and it's still thermals even, even though they're light you know, and it's it's not just about the sunshine, is it? It's about the, um, the temperature differential. But it is amazing, it always amazes me. So I'll leave my friends now. They're still flying over there. 
that was good fun even though it was short but sweet so thank you for watching this episode and I'll see you next time hopefully um, hopefully you'll get flyable again soon thank you for watching the videos see you on the next one